in the barn? Hi. Oh, hello, kitty. The boy, we, we neutered the boy so he would never leave. And he's still never around. It would be better if he was healthy and neutered. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It's pretty dark in here. I bought, I brought stuff down. Gabby's bringing stuff down. It's a barn day. Love me a good barn day. It's supposed to rain today, but it's also kind of mild out, so it's nice. Oh. Right, I'm on pen. This is our first day. Are you pooping? Yeah, pooping. I should have wrote down all the things I want to talk to the vet about you. All the things. Gabby is late to the barn. Anyways, um, so today's vet day. Well, I'm excited. I'm going to try and video some of it for you guys. Um, today, I feel like we're going to do a lot of work with the girls. I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to do things differently. It's taking me a while to figure out the vet thing. Usually he comes and he's like, all right, you need this, 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 and this. And I'm like, okay. And then like $3,000 later, just from one vet visit, I'm like, wow, that's a lot. So this time, I'm going to treat it like a doctor's visit. Try to let the beasts go. Yeah, let the beasts go. And I'm going to, whoops, why is it? And I'm gonna do something different. So, so today, I'm gonna let him tell me all the things that need to be done, and then we're gonna decide together on what's the most important, and then I'm gonna just have him come back and split it into two visits, because I'm gonna tell you all the things I want done. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. She'll stay with me just because I have this. Good, over your feet. Okay, you ready to go? One. Go get treats. So today I want to talk about a lot of things with the vet. I want to discuss Penny's eyes. Penny's free fecal, free water fecal, or free fecal water, whatever it's called. The fact that she has a little bit of loose stool and it's hilarious so she follows me around because I have it. I've done a, like a lot of research and stuff on it and it's not something you can just. There are some supplements. Uh, she's on a really good pro prebiotic. It does nothing. So um, I want to discuss that with him and her eyes, her poop, her teeth need to be done because she, she had her teeth done when we bought her but she has like a funny um, she has a funny shape to the front of her teeth, so it's something that has to be filed down slowly. Um, so her poop, her eyes, her teeth, oh. I want her to, uh, I want to discuss her heat, and then she's kind of off in the back end a little, so I want to discuss that too. So there's all that. Gracie needs her teeth done for sure. Um, yeah, we're gonna see, we're gonna see you guys. Did you pick your fork already? So it's what, sitting there? Hi, Gracie. You're getting needles and teeth. What do you think is going to happen if you're... What? Everybody's picking their own pitchforks. What do you think is going to happen if your dog horse needs her teeth done? Who's holding her? Well, I guess she'll get her shot. Um, she's going to be drugged. She's going to be drugged. And I am too because I'm still asleep. <laughs> I know. I feel drugged too. It's too early in the morning. You guys should know it's the crack of dawn. All right, go ahead. Last time we thought we were first, we were not first. Well, they had an emergency last time. Hello, Pony. Go ahead. Should I do that? Go ahead, Pony. Go ahead, be nice. And from what I have heard, you do the same thing too. All right, so now we have to clean the barn, clean the arena, because, oh, hi. <laughs> She's like, what do you have for me? Well, you know, I always have something. Oh, it's an apple. It's a piece of an apple. What do you think of that? I don't know if they like apples as much as they like carrots, our horses. What do you think? Oh, oh, yeah, they're used to carrots more. That's it. That's all I have. Go eat hay because I got to get moving. Go ahead. I know. I love you. I love you. She's like, don't touch me. That's it. Go. Hit the road. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, gosh. Come on, Molly. 
Ruby, that made me so sad just now when I said that. It made me think about like a time if you ever had to get rid of your horse and your horse loved you so much and you had to like push them to go, yeah. I can tell I have not had breakfast yet. I'm making myself cry. All right, so the barn is a mess. Big, huge mess. And oh, yeah, I am a mess. We're gonna count to you. one, two, three. And it's clean, and now we're all busy. Clean as can be, you guys. This is it. This is how beautiful our barn looks. Except. When you get to this room, it's a little on the messy side, but it's gonna clean. It's gonna get cleaned, you guys. Aw, are you lonely? Where's your brother? Where is he? He runs off in the morning when he hears the dogs come. Sam sees him every day. But this is the only brave girl, just just like her owner, super brave. Look at how cute this cat is. She's so cute. If you scratch our cat's belly, she'll bite you. <laughs> anyway, the barn is done. I told the girls they could go back up to the house. And and wait for the vet, but I just remembered we have to groom them. Oh, hi, Pat. What are you doing? Did you hear me say that I needed to groom you? Or did you hear that I was still here? Yeah. Pretty princess. I wanna say forever. We could be good together. Guess mystery loves company. Better to late than got to see that because the camera was at a weird angle my girl because we did so much um, Liberty work she just stands here and waits for me to do all the things that I want she just stands here I just groomed her I just picked her feet and she didn't move she just stood here the crazy thing to me is that she could be out there eating her hay and she just walked into me just walked in and was like hey you want to hang out and I was like yeah I do Late than never, you know we could do better. So take a chance and run with me. Everywhere we go, we we'll turn to paradise. All I know is that I need you in my life. Let me show you how it feels to roll the dice. You know you want it. Just say the word. Everywhere we go, we'll look how cute she is, you guys. Just listening, letting me do whatever I want to her. Just chilling. It's a vet day. I don't know if you're gonna like that or not. Pen? Yeah. You're getting a needle? She'd be loving me. I love when she's in this mood. She's just calm and relaxed and happy. Yeah. And you too.
this girl's getting her teeth done now. This girl is good, just like normal. She's always good, and that girl's getting her teeth done. It did not go well. Ugh, it did not go well. I have a lot to explain to you guys. Bad news for me and Penny. Bad news for our summer. She's pretty wobbly. You're okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's okay. She's like, I know what's happening. I've seen it happen to Penny. All right, so Penny got her teeth done. She's over there, all dopey. The vet and I had to try she and push her. Already? Yeah, she just got a needle. I saw him give it to her. Did, Look at how did much. Willow get her teeth done? Willow is fine. Willow's good. Her Minis are resistant. Yeah, and there the head goes. Dropping to the ground. Okay. I like her shorter hair. People complained when we cut it and now it just be looking gorgeous. Yeah, that's why we should drop it to here. No, I don't like her with short, short hair. But look at how dark this hair is. Back here. Did you guys know that you go, your hair goes darker before it goes gray? Look at, did you brush her? Mm -hmm. Holy heck. I asked the vet, like, do you, have you ever had any, like, fall over? And he said, very, very rare. Boosh, Penny falls into the wall. I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah, my horse, of course. <laughs> this one looks like she might fall, too. Don't fall. So the rule is that whoever's horse it is has to help. So I helped with Penny, and now Gabby's going to help with Gracie. But your horse I'm didn't not. have anything. I know. She got it, and... Also, Gracie and Penny just stood there like princesses. Oh, oh, oh. Once he puts the thing and holds her head, I held her up like that with her head. If you hold her up, on, it helps. I am. Her feet are crossed. Oh my gosh. This is, oh, don't, don't, don't. Uncross her feet. Yeah, uncross your feet, Gracie. Penny almost falling over. Oh yeah, P Penny fell. She fell like like a drunken soldier, swoosh right into the wall. She's gonna die. No, don't say that. You guys remember last year when they had their shots and Gracie swelled up her whole leg. She couldn't Willow. really walk. Willow swelled up her whole leg. And so I was telling him and he's like, yeah, that's good. It's good that I did it in the leg. And he did it in the leg again. Like he does it in the chest. Because if he does it in the neck and they swell up, yeah, that's really bad. Stop leaning back. <laughs> Poor thing. Could you imagine being sedated and not getting to lay down? Like, I would want to lay down. You're okay. I would fall. This one over here is like, if anybody touch my, my horses, I will hurt them. She's ready to protect them. No, Grace and the boys. The boys were more stable than this. Yeah, girls can't hold their their sedation. Oh my God, she's, falling <laughs> she's like Bambi. Whoa! <laughs> Once he puts the thing up there and holds her head up, then she won't stumble. But anyway, we had to push Penny back in the stall. I had to help him. We were both like pushing. She had her feet planted. It's terrible. I we're like, yeah, it was, it was nuts. It was crazy, you guys. But I did it because it was my horse. All right, so the vet has gone, and this vet visit, we did everything all in one visit, and it was cheaper than the boys, which is weird, because we did almost all the same stuff. So basically, all the horses had all their shots. They're completely up to date on their shots now. Uh, Willow had her teeth done. Gracie, no, Gracie Will had her teeth done, and Penny. Penny had her teeth done. They both needed their teeth done, so. I saw you guys trying to back her up. She was like, so. Stop. Yeah, not that long ago, Penny had a cut on her kneecap. It looked as though Willow had kicked her. It was in the same spot. I had seen Willow out there throwing little fits. I showed you guys in the video her out here kicking and, and jumping and trying to kick Penny and trying to kick Gracie. And uh, soon after, we noticed a big lump. It was swollen on Penny's kneecap. So she was off for a couple of weeks and the lump went down and the swelling went down. We cold holed her and we let it go down. And then she did get better and she seemed okay since then, but she just always seemed 
different to me. And I kept sending, like, and so I sent pictures and video to my trainers, both of them, two times. And they were like, yeah, she seems a bit off in the back. And I was like, yeah, she, something's different. She has a suspensory injury. So it's on the same side where she had the kick. He said that the kick and the swelling that she had from that kick is not related. He said what likely happened is that she got a kick and then she tried to move to get away. And when she moved to get away is when she got the injury. <laughs> When you yeah, that's the worst. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you guys that I can't ride my horse for the next six to nine months and Gabby's over there rolling around on the ground. So, yeah. So that's it, you guys. I cannot ride her for six to nine months. And he said, like, that's the, it, the problem that people have is that they, the, so he did say that we caught it really early that she, it's very mild, she's very lame, very, very mildly lame. Like, you, when you could miss it, he said. Like, that's how mildly lame she is. Um, but the mistake that people make sometimes is that they say, oh, well, she's sound now. They give her a couple weeks off, give her a couple weeks off, and she's sound, and then they ride her, and then she's lame again, and I don't want to do that. I, I want to have, like, my good penny that I had before and so she's gonna have six to nine months off he's gonna come back in a couple of months and reassess and do another ultrasound and he's just gonna it's just gonna be a process do you trip over the pole yeah. <laughs> so the thing that I want to tell you guys is that for me horses are so much more than riding and even though I really enjoyed riding her and I love riding her and I can't wait to get back to riding her and not just even thinking about it makes me feel sad. I don't think riding being ridden is super important to Penny. I think love and and a relationship is so much more important for both of us and so I'm going to spend the next six to nine months loving on her and doing stuff with her and I asked him about things like Liberty and he said that as long as she's doing everything at a walk I can do Liberty stuff with her I can do all that stuff and so we're gonna get into it we're gonna that's what Penny and I are gonna do like it just sucks that it's almost summer and I had so many plans for the summer but sometimes you don't know what, sometimes God has other plans that we just don't know about. And so I'm going to continue my riding and my learning at the Pasofino farm this year. I'm going to ride there. I might even take lessons there. Um, we're definitely going to do a lot of trail rides there. So I'm going to keep getting better and better so that when Penny's ready for me, I'm ready for her. There's been a murder. There's been a murder. Oh my gosh. We think it's Penny. It's Penny. Or Willow. Willow's not that tall. Willow's not that tall. Oh, holy heck. Is it just her fur or is it her? She probably scratched her. Oh. See, Mom, there's a bunch more. Okay. Wow. Well, apparently, this is Penny's scratching post. Okay, Mom. There's another thing. It's just, wait, is that what you were doing, Gabby? Walking there? No, I was not. She was standing on it. Like this. And we have really bad mouths. <laughs> we have really bad mouths. You think it's a good okay. equestrian? I have a pig. <laughs> This is my little brother George. This is this mommy is pig. This is my little sister. <laughs> this is daddy <my> pig. <laughs> okay. Okay then. Amazing. Like this is amazing. She's so warm. Like don't you wish you could cuddle up to your horse all the time? Like just go curl it up in the field with them. She's so warm and cuddly. Pretty much. pretty much holding her up with my shoulder. I love you, Penny Pickle. And don't worry, we'll get through this. We'll get through this, okay? Just you and me. We'll be even closer when this is all over. By the time I get to ride her again, it will be the dream team. Okay? Okay? So she's sleeping, she's snoring. And I'm getting <laughs> getting heavier and heavier. 
We'll be back, Pen. We'll be back. Okay, so I ordered something and it just arrived. It's got a pet on it. It's got a pet thing on it. It's for Sophie. It says, I'm deaf. I hear with my heart. And it's pink. Girl, that's sappy. Gabby says it's sappy. This is cute packaging. Mm -hmm. It's super cute. I bought it on Amazon and it came in the mail. I think this is really important for her to have something that tells people that she is actually deaf. So if she ever got away from us. She has two pink tags. One has my phone number and one has Sophie's phone number and you're not ever going to see it. Wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> you're never going to see it because the dog is never going to... There we go. So the, those are her tags now. I'm deaf. I hear with my heart. And it's true. You she, just took my phone number. It's true. She is a heart loving girl. But anyway, it's time to go down and let the horses out. All right. We're not even turning on the lights, you guys. We're just letting them out. Hopefully she goes okay. <laughs> Pretty slow. Willow's all fiery and like, nothing happened to me. Oh no, there goes the puppy. <laughs> oh, I'm glad she's okay after that big fall. <laughs> Literally fell right against the. Okay. Go out there, eat your breakfast. Good girl. Yes, good girl. All right, we'll see you guys in a little while. Uh oh. Penny's on, a, Penny's on a rampage. She's mad. Look it. They're both. Oh my goodness. Penny. Be nice to Gracie. It wasn't Gracie's fault that you got you got fixed up. It's okay, sweet girl. Yeah, you're okay. Eat and feel better, okay? You should see which dog stays better. The deaf one, the hearing one, and then the other hearing one. What do you mean? Which one stays better? Can we do it in the house where it's warm or we have to do it out here? Out uh, here. All right. Further away. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're doing a test Gabby wanted us to do. Yeah. We're going to see which dog stays. Walk away. Stay. Ruby, come here. <laughs> Stay. She's so distracted. Funny. Gabby thought that her dog would never ever move unless she said yes and then she broke away there was too many distractions and then they, I don't know I just was laughing that whole time that was funny they both thought that they would win and both of their dogs didn't listen perfectly don't you know that you're beautiful? 